morning everyone, Leah here. So today I wanted to do the most requested video ever, which is the one brand review of Claire's. I know a lot of you guys love and use Claire's and I think they do offer really decent products with affordable price point. So I tried it out for about three to four months and I'm here to give you my opinion on Claire's products. First of all, I don't think Claire's is suitable, quote unquote, for sensitive skin because they do contain a good blend of essential oils. It can cause allergies or sensitivity to to sensitive skin type and I did experience some rashes and really bad experience with two products of them so please be cautious if you do have sensitivity and really broken skin barrier because things can penetrate even deeper so the very first product is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop I adore the name and I really do adore this product actually this is the only product that is formulated without essential oils here so this is definitely a win for me it does contain 93% of EGF and BEGF so those are epidermal growth factors, meaning that it can go into the skin and signal your cells to repair and renew and even produce more collagen, making your skin firmer. If you're in your mid-20s or above, your skin starts to slow down in its rejuvenating process and also the collagen production. Therefore, you're losing the volume and the firmness of your skin. And that's why there are so many active ingredients such as vitamin C, AHA, and also retinol and retinoid. These are the ingredients that can target and also promote and trigger the collagen production. And Peptide is another interesting ingredient. There's a variety of kinds of peptides out there. It's not going to deliver like a dramatic result as using retinol or retinoid products. However, over the course of a long term, you can definitely benefit from peptide serums. <laughs> The texture and everything really reminds me of the Neod Kais, which is another peptide serum, but they use like a variety of different peptide ingredients, whereas this one only contains two different peptides. It does come in a very watery, thin, very, very fluid texture, like consistency. And also it does have blueberry extract, which is a very, very great source of antioxidants. So I recommend this product to anyone who's in the mid twenties or late twenties who wants to start their anti-aging game. And peptide serum is a really, really good entry point for the anti-aging game and it's a very gentle and non-irritating product. I love the minimal ingredient list. Also, I do recommend you guys to use this as a first step in your skincare routine before there's any kind of layers that interferes with the absorption. This is probably my favorite product of Claire's, the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. It has a beautiful, gorgeous blue tint in it due to the presence of guazolin, which is a wonderful ingredient from chamomile oil that's known to be very, very soothing and it calms down the irritation as well. And also it has another effective wound healing ingredient, which is the Centella Asiatica extract. So those two main ingredients can be definitely helpful in kind of relieving the stress and also the itchiness or irritation. This also does have essential oils, but it doesn't smell like anything, which I really enjoyed. As you can see, I used it up the major con of this product is that it only comes in 30 ml, which is like one ounce. This is not enough. This can be though um, a little bit heavier and greasier for oilier skin types. So if you do have probably normal to drier skin, and especially in winter time, this came in really, really handy because it was very, very nourishing and moisturizing. It does feel a little bit waxier, meaning that it kind of forms a little bit of film on top of your skin. So if you're prone to breakout or pore clogging, this is definitely not for you. But whenever I did use it, it just felt like like it was just hugging my skin. Claire's has another moisturizer called Rich Moist Soothing Cream. It comes in a very clean white tube packaging. It's very, very hygienic. I actually really enjoyed this. It has a good blend of jojoba seed oil, shea butter, esters, and also silicon oils. All of these together can create a very beautiful, breathable and lightweight occlusive on top of your skin. Even though the texture is very creamy and emollient, it applies like a lotion. It kind of melts in right away. It doesn't leave any kind of noticeable shine. It doesn't dry too matte. So it's like a perfect in-between, all year round, perfect combination skin moisturizer. So I think this would be very suitable for a lot of teenage skin, especially. It doesn't feel like it's deeply hydrating at all, but it's like a really good lightweight occlusive. So I definitely recommend you guys to layer some serum or hydrating ingredients first. The next two products are hydrators. This is the Supple Preparation Facial Toner and this is the Rich Moist Soothing Serum. And I'm going to show you guys these two together because they are very, very similar in terms of the ingredient list and how it feels and how it hydrates and also how my skin reacted to both of these. 
The only difference that I can find is the label and probably the texture. Both of these have really, really beautiful hydrating property and I really wanted to love it because of that, but I think my skin doesn't agree with essential oils and present in these kind of fluid a form. So my skin was like turning red, it was so itchy, and therefore I couldn't proceed to use it ever again because of that. I really don't think you need to use a toner before using this serum because it acts like a beautiful thick toner. So between the two products, I definitely love the soothing serum more in terms of texture, in terms of the hydration, and in terms of how well it kind of retains the hydration. Last but not least, we have this freshly juiced vitamin C drop. It contains 5% pure vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. If you're using ascorbic acid, it doesn't need any conversion to work inside the skin. But if you're using other vitamin C derivatives, such as sodium ascorbyl phosphate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, those kind of ingredients, they need to be converted into ascorbic acid inside the skin. That's why ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid is called as a gold standard of vitamin C and it's still the most effective vitamin C ingredient. Normally I wouldn't use this because it comes in a transparent jar which means that it can oxidize so easily but I saw a lot of reviews that this doesn't oxidize that easily. This is very confusing product guys. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I don't like it. It's one product that doesn't really encourage you to use it over and over again. I'm not sure if you guys have tried squalane oil but that kind of feels like a very dry oil. It doesn't fully absorb into your skin, but it's not greasy at the same time. So once you apply this, it does warm your skin, and I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but I haven't experienced that kind of warming sensation in other vitamin C products. I know a lot of you guys love it in terms of removing hyperpigmentation, but yet again, I'm not sure if 5% is enough to target the pigmentation. So I'll probably give this a try a little bit more, and I don't know, I need your help. I guess. I think generally Claire's has decent product, but they will definitely win me over if they get rid of those kind of sensitizing ingredients. But I did hear that they're coming out with this toner without the essential oil, which is a really great news. And I love a brand who just listens to the customer and evolve their product. I'll put all the product links down below so you guys can shop. If this video was helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me a lot, more than you might think. Subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!